Please welcome Jerry Springer, ladies and gentlemen. Let me uh, let me open by apologizing. <laughs> no, I've ruined the culture. I'm you know. <laughs>
And uh, I just wanted to uh, thank you. If I'm right, you were at uh, you were at one of our shows, and uh, you uh, it was entitled uh, I think the Stripper Life, and you stood up in the audience and made some comment about one of the strippers that you thought he had a real sexy body, and um, you were chosen then to take us into a break, and uh, a wonderful achievement. Uh, <laughs> but. Um, I happen to know you are of good character, and the reason I know you're of good character is because I checked our records, and even though you were in the audience, you have never actually been on my show. Like, you were never on stage, and, and that's a sign of good character. You don't ever want to be on the show. I mean, pff, man, that would be awful. Uh, so good for you, uh, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful year. I hope your career has just taken off, whatever it might happen to be, whether you're a, 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 a dancer or not, or you just admire them. Um, in any event, take care of yourself and each other. This is not the Jerry Springer show. Nobody is allowed to do it in a McDonald's bathroom. If your wife makes you miss prison, maybe you should come back. Everybody deserves love in their lives because, you know, we're all on the planet together. Let's make the most of it. And who knows, we may even start liking each other. Be good to each other and never forget that precious four-letter word, Greyhounds. Sorry, love. Love, 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 love. Sorry, love. Till, till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Returned to America where he kept his promise of only having nice people on his show. It was cancelled after one episode and he was never seen again. Find out what happened to the chums in next week's episode of Chums. <laughs> Hey Paul, Jerry Springer here, and I just want to congratulate you on your video, Paul Kern Goes to Hollywood. I understand it has a million views already on YouTube, so good for you. Uh, I also happen to know, Paul, that you are a man of good character, and you might well say to me, well, how do I know you're of good character? I'll tell you how I know. Uh, I checked out records, and as I look at them here, let me see. Yep, Paul, you have never been on my show. And that, of course, is a sign of good character. You don't ever want to be on the show, Permanent. That would be awful. So good for you. Uh, continued success on your videos. And I hope 2021 turns out to be this wonderful year for you. In the meantime, take care of yourself and each other. Welcome to Hollywood. Let's explore Hollywood Boulevard on the Walk of Fame. The best James Bond. I'm following in the footsteps of Eddie Murphy. Superman. Dairy Woman, Roma Dine on Hollywood's Walk of Fame. Everyone loves the Irish pub. 
Just one more thing, Colombo. Los Angeles is one of the most exciting cities in America. Thanks for watching. Hey there, I told you, I'll be back and I've been sent here from the future with a very important message going out to Paul, Paul Curran. This is fantastic. I want to say congratulations because I hear that you have so much talent. There's not a lot of talent in the world these days unless you travel all the way to Northern Ireland and that's where you're going to find Paul Kern and he's going to be going down to audition for Britain's Got More Talent. And this is fantastic. So I want to say good luck because it can be so tough. I know what it's like to train at the gym and that's tough. You know, I've been training so hard and I've been getting pumped even though I'm in my seventies. And instead of saying, I'll be back, it's ah, my back. It's still tough to train, but it's even more tough to stand on stage in front of Simon Cowell. And we hope that it doesn't give you the buzzer. Otherwise, it's hasta la vista, Simon. So make sure you do a great job because he, you're so funny and you got all this great talent. You know what they say? When you've got Paul Kern, you feel that burn. And make sure that you do a great job with your great girly man friend, John. And know it's going to have everybody in stitches. And everybody in Longfield is so excited and super pumped. So do it. Wow, 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 wow. This is a huge congratulations to Paul Curran or Paul Curran. I'm saying it right one of those ways. But either way, Paul Curran goes to Hollywood. He has more than 1 million views on YouTube. Paul, that's insane. A million. One. Ten. One hundred. One thousand. 10,000, 100,000, 1 million. That's a lot, Paul. Congratulations. Heard you took part in Britain's Got Talent. Nolan Live and the Jerry Springer Show. Well, Jerry Springer is on Cameo. Make sure you book Jerry. And you live in Ireland. I've never been, but I've wanted to go. I'm reading a book that's based in Ireland right now. Shout out to you, Paul. You seem like a cool guy. It occurred to me that I've been watching a bit too much Jerry Springer. Kind of wasting my time on that Jerry Springer. I got way too much class to watch Jerry Springer. Over here and pull on my finger. Thanksgiving, a time for friends and family to come together and enjoy the holidays. Blow by blow. Save it for the show, okay? Everybody wants Prepare yourself for a very Jerry holiday season. Jerry Springer in Ringmaster. Hey, are you ever going to do a show on people who love farm animals? Rated R. Starts Wednesday. You had some very nice things to say about Simon Cowell. You're working yes. on America's Got Talent, I understand. Yes, I'm the new host of America's Got Talent, and Simon was the one who hired me. Okay, and um, you, you tell, us, tell us a little bit about Simon himself. This will ruin his reputation, but he's really a nice guy. Yeah, I know. I don't believe that. Yeah, he is, and I, I wish I could tell you some horrible story, but he's unfailingly polite and nice and uh, very, very smart and really gets pop culture. Perhaps uh, more than anyone I've met in the business, and for a British person to understand American pop culture, I don't think anyone since perhaps David Frost or Alastair Cook 
really understood Americans as much as he does. Yeah, and as I said, it's pop culture that he gets. The rest, I don't know, but he certainly understands that. Hmm. And, uh, you know, you can't help but admire his, his ability. Yeah. Uh, can, I, uh, can I ask you what you're doing over here this, this trip? Right? I assume that you haven't just come out for the British soccer Yeah, I'll be doing I'm, I'm here. I'm having some meetings. I may be doing some more British television. So, uh, and I come here four or five times a year, and also Simon's here, so I'll be doing stuff with him. So. Right. Any, anything you can tell us about? Well, no. I mean, no, I, I can't tell you right now. Does it involve Simon? Yeah. yeah. Live from Los Angeles, it's America's Got Talent, the final. Talent, the final. It's Wednesday night, and we are live from Los Angeles. Now, this is the ultimate showdown. Tonight's the night you choose your winner. Now, you've probably just seen President Bush address the nation, which means our show is going to be shorter, so we got to do this fast. And this is live TV, so who knows what's going to happen, so buckle up. And remember, throughout all of this, your top five need your help to win. Now more than ever, here's what's going to happen. The five finalists will give one more performance for your votes. The prize, biggest in entertainment history, one million dollars, and a headline show in Las Vegas. Five acts, one winner, you decide. Let's find out what winning means to our top five. The battle for Las Vegas begins now. First to perform, two guys who have electrified our audience week after week, Nothing but strings. Check out Paul Curran on YouTube. He took part in TV debates for the Stephen Nolan Show. And tried acting on Britain's Got More Talent. His videos are really freaking funny. Paul Curran on YouTube. Check it out. And great respect because I know that you will go on and you will not give up. I gotta go with the superstar! Congratulations. And so, sorry girls, great show. What do you think of the President of the United States of America, Donald Trump? Uh, he's a hell of a golfer. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, he's our president, so I obviously hope he does well. But I'm, I'm very opposed to him, and it's not personal. Uh, I think he's the first president we ever had who is opposed to the idea of America. See, America is the only country in the history of the world that was created by an idea. Every other country in history starts out either as a tribe, an ethnic group, a religion. You get a little bit of land, you want a little bit more. That's how <laughs> every country in history has developed. But America started out as an idea, as articulated in the Declaration of Independence, uh, the Bill of Rights, the Statue of Liberty, whatever. The idea that we would be, this is the ideal, we haven't reached the reality. The ideal is that we'd be the one place on earth where it wouldn't matter what your religion was, who your parents were, where you were from. 
you could come and be free and be the very best you could be. That's the ideal. Well, to now have a president who says we're going to ban Muslims, deport Mexicans, uh, uh, disenfranchise African Americans, that kind of stuff, it's just as an immigrant, since the Statue of Liberty meant something to my family, to have someone who's president of the United States opposed to that idea of a multicultural country um, is just offensive. And I think that's why there's such resistance. Look, there are some people that love Trump. And, you know, it's a free country and they can be formed. But it's so much opposed to what I believe America ought to be. You worked for him because uh, you, you emceed the Miss Universe 2008 yeah. when he had the franchise. That's what I'm saying. The few times that I've met him, he's only been nice to me. So there's no personal vendetta. Uh -huh. You know, uh, I just don't think he should be president. There are people in my family I love. I don't think they should be president. This September, you're invited to the biggest party in television history. Welcome to our 25th year. It will be wilder. This nasty what? It will be sexier. It will be epic. Everything starts September 21st. but we know that you definitely had to watch it, right? Um, yes. Well, I was already pretty old by the time that was... But uh, in the privacy of my room, I watched it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about Knight Rider? Were you a fan? Actually, I did not see that. All right. I did right. not see that. But it was about a car, so what's the difference who was driving it? <laughs> I mean, with the darkened windows, how do you know who was in there? He says it was the hop. I don't believe it. I never saw one on that Isn't car. Isn't there also a dildo named Knight Rider? <laughs> <laughs> I don't name him. Are, are we going to get a lot of Wendy's hamburgers tonight? Uh, not from me, because by the time I'm up there, everyone will have said it. I'm going to be nice because, as I said before, he's very large. I don't want to get hurt. What's the point? You get a laugh and then you have no teeth uh, when you leave the place. I'm going to be really nice. Those guys are all big. You got the Hulk here? I'm going to speak very slowly now because Pamela Anderson is coming here. Is she looking at me? Is she looking at me? Oh. Oh. Watch me walk backwards. Jerry. Is she looking at me? Jerry. Happy 25th anniversary, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. You have made so much money on dysfunctional people and dysfunctional relationships and families, but I'm happy to say that I'm not one of those hey, guys. Hey, Dad. What? No. Dad, who are you talking to? No, I'm not your dad. Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm your German love child from 25 years ago. No, I never had a German love child. I never did. Who are you? What's your name? Dieter Hasselhoff. No, Dieter Hasselhoff. No, no, of course. Yeah, I'm talking to Jerry Springer. It's the 25th anniversary. Ah. Yeah. Hi, Jerry. Maybe we could be on his show. You Why? Know? We're not dysfunctional. Talk about how you left me for 25 years. I never left you. You, I, I don't even know you. Happy 25th, Jerry. I just found my son. I love you. I love you. Hi, it's David Hasselhoff, and I'm here to say, please vote for Paul Curran. Paul Curran on Britain's Got Talent. He's from Northern Ireland, 
And he's auditioned for Simon Cowell at least three times in the past with his imaginary friend. And I think it was after I left BGT. But please, vote for Paul Curran. Hoff off. The X-Files presents a black and white horror tale. Up there! With a monster, a mad scientist, and an angry mob. Could it get any scarier than this? Is it true Jerry Springer's coming to town? <gasps> an all-new X-Files, Sunday at 9, 8 central. So many mysteries, just one fox. Hey guys, Jerry Springer here, and I want to wish a very happy Halloween to the people of Derry in Northern Ireland. I uh, hope you really enjoy the holiday. Uh, I understand, Paul, you were you attended uh, my show back in 2015. Uh, I appreciate that. I hope you had a good time. Uh, the good news is you attended the show, but you weren't on the show. Because if you were on the show, that would have been horrible. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. So anyway, have a very happy Halloween, and I hope you get lots of candy. Take care of yourselves and each other.
The US talk show host Jerry Springer has died at the age of 79. He's best known for hosting the controversial Jerry Springer show from 1991 to 2018. The programme started out as a general talk show, but in an effort to boost ratings, it began to concentrate on controversial content, leading to frequent on-screen confrontations. Springer was diagnosed with cancer earlier this year. Okay, goodbye.